here's a question from Gaitian American. What are your thoughts on the polarization in the United States? More than 40% of the U.S. believe that the election was stolen. YouTube, this is not something that we believe. We're just talking about other people. <laughs> um, yes, YouTube. These are not our views. These are other people's views that we're commenting on. Um, Thank you. Do you think U.S. democracy is in danger? Oof, this is tough. Honestly, I try not to think about it too much because I get stressed out. <laughs> um we do have a really bad polarism problem i mean in danger of what in danger of collapsing or in danger of being less democratic okay because it's not in danger of collapsing okay u.s democracy will survive but is it in danger of being like is it in danger of being less democratic is it because it's not a it's not like democracy it's not like a binary thing democracy on democracy off right like even among democracy democratic countries some of them are more efficient at being <laughs> democratic and than the other ones right and united states is not like united states when it comes to free speech is ahead of almost everyone else uh but when it comes to the efficiency of like democracy and being representative of, of its people it's behind so many other countries like especially uh some countries some scandinavian countries like Western European countries and some other countries, right? I mean, it is still like high ranking, but like it's not, you know, I, I don't think it's like number one. It, and it can fall below that. And yes, obviously, this is going to be one of those, re one of this, uh, one of the things that could affect it, you know, like democ even So here's the thing there, there's two things that makes a democracy great. One, this, the way that the, the structures that you put in place to build a democratic, you know, society, right? How efficient is that, you know, the constitutions and the institutions that are supposed to maintain that, right? Um, and, but secondly, um, an educated um, electorate, electorate? How do you say that? The word that the people who vote, elect, electorate. You elect got it right the first time. Elect electorate, okay. Um, basically, like you need people to um, actually let me actually I have this. Yeah, there's a quote by Thomas. Well, there's a Jefferson. really good. There's a really good quote by Ambedkar about this. Let me see if I can actually, find it. Hold on. Yeah, I have a quote. There you go. Thomas Jefferson. Saying the cornerstone of a democracy on the uh, the cornerstone of a democracy rests on the foundation of an educated electorate. 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 Is that how you say it? Can you say it once? Electorate. Wait, electorate. no. <laughs> you, See? I'm overthinking See it because of you. Electorate. There we go. <laughs> electorate. Electorate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so I mean, even if you have a very efficient system, garbage in, garbage out, right? um so yeah there's there's two things you need to you need to spend time in making and in creating a very efficient system right that the best system that you can make that if used properly will be representative of the people that it's supposed to represent but then the people need to be for people to make the right decisions <laughs> they need to they need to have the foundations to to be able to be, a, to make the right conclusions right and that requires education right so yeah with with that situation and with these with the people like this is like 40 percent. that is insane basically what, what we're saying actually uh, th we're saying what we're saying is 40 percent of americans are insane that's what this is what they're saying is that actually the right stat 40 percent um it depends on when you when people were polled um so I know, you know, the polls were very high immediately after the election leading up into the inauguration. Um, and I recently saw of Americans or for, please tell me this is 40% of Republicans, not Americans. I don't think it was Americans. I know that I think it, there wrong. was at least 33% of Republicans who believed this. And that was around the time between like November to uh, January, 2021. 
Um, yeah. Oh, God. It's, uh, I wish I could find this quote behind Bedkar that I was trying to find where he talks about, like, the, how the foundation of democracy is an educated citizenry. Um, okay. Wait, let me actually say what percentage of Americans think. Uh, I'm saying oh, believe the big lie. Believe the big lie. Mm, one in three Americans believe in the big lie. So 33%. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Americans. Okay, one third of Amer Okay, so one third of Americans are insane. This is great. Oh, okay. Gaijin American, by the way, Gaijin American was taking secular protons questions and reposting it. That's the, the, he, He's confirming in the live chat that, that, that this is a secular protons question. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's fine as long as we're answering the question. But yeah, so education. I guess we need education. <laughs> this is the solution is education. So do you think the US democracy is in danger? Yeah, it is in danger, but not in danger of collapsing. Like it's not like it's not in danger of like becoming a dictatorship or like a tyrannical government. That is not, it's, it's, it's in danger of becoming is heavily damaged, like more damaged than it is right now. But not like we will still have <laughs> it will still be a democratic country. So that's my answer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Totally. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.